I've got a lot going on today. I did not expect today to be the way it's going to be, but I kind of put all my ducks in a row and I'm ready to ride off <laughs> into the sunset. So I wanted to share with you guys how I would style a music studio session. Um, we're gonna record us you know, doing our thing in the studio. We already planned to do that. So I said, you know what? Let me put on a little makeup and let me um, spruce things up a little bit. You know, that's my favorite word, spruce, okay? Um, so, and this is good training for me because it's really important as an artist to know what to wear and when. And that's why a lot of artists hire stylists because it's not an easy feat, okay? Um, you have to have style sensibility and um, people, places and things sensibility. So there's a lot that goes into it, okay? But for me, maybe I can help someone out there today. For me, uh, I try to wear a little bit of makeup. Um, you know, I, I look at it as not an audition, but I prepare for it as if it's an audition. So I'll practice, you know, I'll do some rehearsing with the notes, go over the song, you know, just make sure that I'm presentable and I look the artist's part, okay? Because there is a way to look the artist's part. Um, and I think part of that, but also depending on the type of artist you are, part of that is looking well put together. Okay, and even if your style is, you know, like a more grunge style, um, more bohemian, um, just raw edge, you know, goth, it's, it's really all about um, following through with that and that's going to help you look not just put together but solid, okay. So today, guys, I've decided to wear this see-through animal print long sleeve top that I got from Urban Outfitters a while back. And maybe you guys have seen me in this. Um, I've rocked it a few times um, because it's so easy to rock. Like, I think it's just one of the cutest tops. Affordable, cute in my wardrobe. And um, it is see-through. And... Um, Typically when I'm in the studio with the guys, like, <laughs> I don't know, like I try to like balance out the sexy, you know, because men are funny characters and um, although it's a professional environment, I've been hit on a few times in the past, um, like blatantly, <laughs> you know, and with folks that I had to actually work with and follow through on a project. So I've learned to kind of like find this balance um, in the studio when I'm by myself with a producer. Um, so I have this long sleeve animal print top, it's sheer, um, and I'm gonna rock it with these flare jeans. I think these are by Blank NYC or Sanctuary. Um, I love these jeans, okay? These were affordable and for the price, I feel like they look like high-end designer jeans. Ah, oh, I'm a little bloated today. Um, and I'm gonna do my vocal warm-ups in the car, okay? If you haven't already, I have two songs up on, on music streaming platforms, you know, Tidal, Spotify, um, Apple Music, um, YouTube Music, all of that, okay? So check them out. Bleeding Heart is one of them, and Downpour, which is like a pop, commercial pop song. Um, go check it out. Bleeding Heart is like an R&B indie type of song. So go check it out. You know, your girl is doing her thing thing. Okay, I love writing songs. I love writing lyrics. I love singing. And there's just a lot to me. Okay, so go check it out when you get a chance. And um, I'm going to complete this look. And um, I, oh my goodness, I actually have to run. Um, so I decided to... Instead of just keeping this sheer and letting the girls all hang out, I decided to funk things up a little bit by adding um, this bandu ribbed top. It kind of looks like a knit, but it's no. not. And it kind of looks like it's part of the top. I love 
these type of styles, when they're done, when someone styles their clothing this way, I think it's really like fashion forward and playful. So I decided to do this. jewelry here. I also have to get my water, a banana, um, my dark chocolate. Um, I don't play around guys. I, I, I come prepared. I Oh my gosh, I didn't write out my lyrics. I seem to know them very well, but I might just jot them down verse by verse when I'm in the studio. Okay, and I'm just going to go with the gold hoop earrings. Um, I wanted to play a little bit with gold and uh let's see here let's let's put on the shoes i'm gonna go with these love mosquito boots i love these boots i guess that's why it's called love mosquito because you're gonna love it you're not gonna just like it you're gonna love it love mosquito <laughs> yeah okay so this is it with the boots and these shoes are so cute because they have like a slit on the side, like an opening right here on the side. So funky, so well thought out. Okay. So I recently bought this um, Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo belt. I needed a a simple, well, this isn't simple, but I needed a kind of standard thin black belt which I do not have um, and I wanted something um, like a designer belt um, I have a red Moschino belt but it's red um, I can't always wear it and the logo is super huge on it the hardware so I can't do that so I'm gonna I bought this uh, Salvatore Ferragamo belt which I love. It's just the right amount of thinness for me. It's it's like right in the middle between thick and thin, and it's just perfect. And I love that the logo is smaller. Um, so I'm going to wear this with this look. Like. This is like really such a cute belt and like for a sophisticated type of edgy type of personal style kind of person, I feel like this fits the bill, you know? I love this for me. I, I love this for me and I think it's a wonderful piece to invest in. I don't know if I should wear my leather jacket. I feel like it's so badass. I think I'll wear my leather jacket with this. I'm actually loving this right now. I literally have to go. <laughs> I'm going to wear... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this. Um, my Alexander McQueen brown scarf and like call it a day. And I have my Prada sunnies. If I'm in the car driving and I want to be a little mysterious. <laughs> and... Um, I also have my beanie and I ugh, my beanie is like for comfort I get chilly and it's just so comforting and I love how it kind of like it's a nice contrast to the black so I feel like well, I want to share that when I go into the studio, I think of comfort. Um, so, like, I'll bring, like, some socks, you know, or my hat or a sweater, you know, something that's going to make me feel chill um, while I'm there and kind of remind me of home. Um, like, so maybe my favorite sweater or something like that, right? So, I feel like my beanie is that thing for today. Um... Because what you don't want in the studio is to be nervous. You want to give it your all. You want to give it your best. And you want to be in a place where you can do that comfortably. Uh, and being in a new place for me, because this is a new studio. I've never been here before, there before. Um, it's really important for me to kind of do things that gonna make, that's going to help me to feel um, settled. So that I can focus on the singing and things like that. Okay. Um, 
so yeah this is this is my look for the studio today um, i hope you like this fit comment down below let me know what you think and i love to love you i have to run Mwah. bye sounds so great mm. I didn't begin to there's a little break in the voice that i like where well well in there somewhere in there somewhere yeah but i could i could try it again of course mm -hmm.